You know, I think we're in a golden age of dating television and dating game shows. We got things like Love is Blind, uh, Love Island, of course, is a classic, uh, Sexy Beasts. Excuse me, what? Too Hot to Handle, F-Boy Island, which don't confuse that with Love Island. Those are two separate islands, all right? But I think we got to pay homage to what I think is the, the great granddaddy of the modern dating show. And it's embarrassing and it's juicy, and it's cringy, and it's hosted by Jerry Springer. It's called Baggage, and how it works is pretty simple. Uh, basically, there's a central contestant, and she or he are picking in between three potential suitors who all have a small, medium, and large piece of baggage. Uh, she eliminates two of them, and that leaves just one person. Uh, and then the, before deciding whether or not they want to seal the deal, get to learn one major piece of baggage from that central contestant. And oftentimes it's something really embarrassing and, and uh, <laughs> strange and absurd. I also want to take a little moment and say, yes, I am two weeks in a row with the penguin shirt. I wash my clothes, but I choose to wear them again for videos. It's brand consistency. But let's just sit back, let's relax, and let's let Jerry Springer tell us about some baggage. Welcome to Baggage, where today three dweebish dudes will be ditching their own dirt for a chance to hook up with one gorgeous geektress. I love geeks. The smarter, the better. And they seem to be better in the bedroom. Well, right. There's our central contestant. Lady in the yellow dress. She knows what she likes. She likes dorks. She likes dweebs. She likes geeks. She likes nerds. This is like some Big Bang Theory type pairing we got going on here, too. I'm excited to see what her options are. He's a swing dance instructor from Dallas. Say hello to Nate. He's an editor from Miami. Give it up for Jose. Jose is looking sharp. I mean, not for nothing. I would take him on the outfit alone. He's got the purple baby, the suspend, the bow tie. Jose. No doubt about it, she's going home with him. There's no way. Jose. He's an anti-bully instructor from El Dorado, California. Let's hear it for Dean. <laughs> well, gentlemen, it is time to unlock your smallest piece of baggage. I still play with my Transformers. I write my ex's numbers on bathroom stalls for revenge. I was rejected from a sperm bank. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> there's a lot to unpack already. And I don't think that Jose's baggage could have been considered small. So I am horrified to know how more, how much more extreme this gets. Uh, Cause he, he came in with so much confidence. He flew so high with the outfit just to <laughs> crash at writing his ex's phone numbers in random bathroom stalls. The the guy playing with Transformers, who cares? I mean, that's a nerdy thing and she likes nerds, so let him play with his toys and you can play with yours. And then the guy who got rejected from the sperm bank, he's got some expired milk and I, I that for me personally would be a deal breaker if he's shooting blanks, not even blanks, but just, you know, they're past their due date, they're past warranty. I needed some money, and, and I thought I'd do something that I enjoy doing, so I went there. What do you enjoy doing? Ain't it obvious, Jerry? <laughs> I love jacking off. I got rejected because it comes out like curdles. Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry for putting that image in your head. <laughs> you know, have yeah. a little, uh, y you know. Yeah. Well, it's time for the deal break around. When Anna decides which piece of baggage she can handle, well, the owner of that particular bag will be banished to the forest moon of Endor. <laughs> I have a pet scorpion. Watch out for that little prick. You know what? I didn't think I was gonna have to do it, but that joke deserves a little bit of a Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Like the finest darts player. He always hits a bullseye. Homeless people sleep on my couch. I went window shopping for sex in Amsterdam. <laughs> You know, I don't even need to know. I'm calling it now. Homeboy who is shooting spoiled milk. He's the one that went window shopping for sex. Like, it just, I have a feeling when he says, 
go and do something I enjoy doing. Part of the things he enjoys doing is smashing bumping uglies, you know? Which of these is your deal breaker? I went window shopping for sex in Amsterdam. Oh. <laughs> I was just uh, sampling a little bit of the Dutch culture. Oh. Well, two tweets remain. Gentlemen, it is time to reveal your biggest piece of baggage. I was the 30-year-old virgin. I was looking for the right person. Good I for you. Don't believe in just giving myself to anyone. I think sex is dirty. I love sex. I just am a very hygienic guy. I don't like the messes. I like to like keep myself somewhat clean. I had so much hope riding for Jose, only know he does sex like this. Are you done? Are you you're making a mess? Are you done? Like, like, the 30-year-old virgin I can get. Like, okay, man, you were waiting for the one. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. Homeboy, I love sex. Just don't get anything on me. Screws wrapped entirely in bubble wrap, doesn't he? It is time to send one of these men packing. I'm sorry, Jose. You have too much baggage. <laughs> Way to go, Nate and Anna! Oh, look at that! But the tables have turned, and now, of course, it is his decision. What's the secret in Anna's big red bag? I don't drive a car, and neither will my boyfriend. I ride my bike, take public transportation everywhere, and I want to be with a guy that values the environment. Wouldn't the middle ground be, like, get, like, an electric car? Or is that just, like, out of their price bracket? I cannot accept that baggage. Whoa! And after all that, everything that we've been through, he turns her down. And that's basically how the show goes. These minisodes, they're addicting. You watch one, you gotta watch all of them. And th they know what they're doing. It's a perfect strategy. And, okay, just to set you guys over this, this is the seniors edition of Baggage. So these people are all in their golden years. Which means there is history in this, in this Baggage. Welcome to Baggage, where tonight, second seniors forget about geriatrics and get a little jiggy in their quest to find new romance. This is Meredith. She's got a secret, and it's hidden inside this red bag. You need somebody that's ready to travel, intelligent, kind, yes. but mostly somebody that can keep up with me. I don't think that's going to be hard, but you're, we're all seniors here, so I'm not sure we're going to keep up with yourselves. <laughs> I need someone who can keep up with me. What, is your scooter got nitro? He's a retiree from Eunice, Louisiana. Say hello to DeVille. I'm pausing this one fast, but take a look at DeVille. Oh, he is old school cool. I'm rooting, for, I, I, I'm rooting for him. The marketing director from Woodland Hills, California. Give it up for Steven. He's a business consultant from South Bronx, New York. Let's hear it for Nathan. So we have old school cool, John Madden's twin brother, and Jeff Bezos after the divorce. She's got, I, can she take all three? Disclose your smallest piece of baggage. I'm terrified of buildings over 20 feet tall. <laughs> Don't let him near any major city. <laughs> Sees a skyscraper. <laughs> How tall is the average house? The average house is 18 to 20 feet standard. And it can vary up to 25. Where does he live? I think that's the most confusing part. I lie about my age on dating sites. I like sex. And I don't want age to deprive me. Get him out. Get, get him out of here. I hated that. I hated how he sounded. I love I like sex. sex. You, you know, get him out. Get him out. I'm afraid of women with unwhitened smiles. Oh, get a polygrip. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time for the deal break around. When Meredith decides which bag has fallen and won't get up, well, the owner of that bag will be going home. I like to scream in bed. 
I've been charged three times for indecent exposure. I've made money as a drug dealer. <laughs> this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is tough this is tough man with options like with baggage like this who needs a partner i've been charged three times for that's the dude who's who's on dating sites for sure i like to scream in bed i would ha i hate picturing any of these men just like laying back screaming i hate it i hate all of these Except for the, the first one. That's, you know, make your money, I guess. I've made money as a drug dealer. Which of these is your deal breaker? I've been charged three times for indecent exposure. Oh. See his slow walk to that one as she was saying that? He was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's time to reveal your biggest piece of baggage. I live with an ex who refuses to move out. I think if I pop up there with someone looking like Meredith, her pride will say, well, it's time for me to move. I married a call girl for tax exemptions. Working girl who was looking to get out of her life. I saved taxes. She became very legitimate. And it was my first opportunity to pay it forward. These are two very strange circumstances. So, of course, I was right on the Bezos call. He did it for the tax exemptions. And then this guy just seems like he's too scared to say no to somebody. <sighs> Meredith has got decisions. I, I mean, I don't know who I would choose at this point. I think I would... Can I choose Jerry? I mean, we're at the same age bracket. Jerry can... He's a successful guy. It, it's just... It's a hard choice. Send one of these gentlemen packing. I'm sorry, DeVille. I can't live with your baggage. Way to go, Nathan and Meredith! Like the orthopedic shoes are on the other foot, and now, of course, it is his decision. Meredith, please reveal your baggage. I was engaged to three men in one year. Meredith! Oh, I don't know. Is I <laughs> in one year? Oh my God! I was ready for a committed relationship, but obviously they couldn't keep up with me and backed out of the deal. Can you handle Meredith's baggage? So now we know what she meant when she said, "I need someone who can keep up with me." You get with her, Nathan. Within 24 hours, she's gonna go. So we getting hitched? Come on, we're getting here, we're doing it. We're, going, we're getting it down, we're getting hit right now. Uh, I'm sorry, Meredith, but I'm afraid that's a little bit too much baggage. Oh, I'm sorry, Meredith. Two episodes in a row and no one's finding love. I think this is showing us one thing for sure, man. If you go on to Jerry Springer's game show, you're not leaving with a partner, but you are leaving with your baggage exposed on national television. And that baggage might just be that you're scared of buildings ah! and you know what we went through two little mini episodes i think that's enough i don't want to spoil you guys but if you want to see me react to another one of these episodes maybe we'll go back a couple seasons and see where where they came from their roots on baggage then uh let me know in the comments and uh yeah i guess the moral of the story is if you see jerry springer uh don't let him put you on his tv show